Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and uh, show how to install this Dremel Detailer's Grip Attachment. Um, and the model number on this one is A577. And um, some of the things, this is a cool looking attachment, and some of the things that Dremel says about this attachment is that it offers enhanced grip and comfort for detailed applications and provides optimal tool control when precision is required. So before we install this, whenever you're working with the Dremel tool, uh, before you ever do, make sure that you've read through the operating and safety instructions and understand them completely. Um, those will tell you everything you need to know on how to use your Dremel tool both safely and properly. And always make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment. For this demonstration, I have on a pair of nitrile gloves and safety goggles, and always take all safety precautions. And you can look up on the Dremel website, um, you can look up this attachment, uh, model number A577, to see if it's compatible with your Dremel tool, uh, but I will be showing how to install it on my Dremel 8220. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at how this installs on the Dremel tool. Okay, so here is my Dremel 8220. Um, and before you ever install or remove an accessory or an attachment from a Dremel tool, you need to make sure that it's both off and unplugged. And if it's a cordless model like this one here, you need to make sure the battery is removed uh, if it has a removable battery. Not all Dremel tools have a removable battery, but this one does. So um, let's make sure that it's off here, and then we're going to take the battery out like so, and we'll just set that off to the side. Okay, so now we're going to take off the Easy Twist nose cap here. And to put the um, detailer's grip attachment on, we're not going to use the Easy Twist nose cap. Um, it comes with its own nose cap here to be able to install it. So let's just take that off temporarily. I'm just gonna set it there. And then we're going to put the um, detailer's grip attachment on here like so. When you install it, you wanna make sure that you don't cover up the vents on the Dremel tool, um, and you don't wanna cover up um, the lock button or the on and off button. So it installs this way, um, like so. So once we get this on here, then we're going to put the nose cap uh, that came with the Dremel A577 attachment on. And we can get this lined up properly, and then tighten the nose cap all the way down like so. And this is what it should look like. And then from here you would install whatever accessory you're going to use and then you could reinstall the battery into the Dremel tool um, and then it would be ready to use. And I do have a lot of other Dremel videos uh, that demonstrate a lot of the different accessories for the Dremel tool and different attachments. So if you're interested and have time, I will link my Dremel playlist at the end of this video and please check it out. So um, I'm not going to put an accessory in, but I will put the battery back in just so I can have the full weight of the tool. And uh, let me get a better overview here and let's see how how, um, the Dremel detailers grip attachment feels okay so let's check this out here and yeah um, this feels good it feels like it gives you a lot more control over the Dremel tool um, you know specifically if you're doing very uh, like detailed work if you were doing engraving or carving um, you know any of that type of work this allows you to have a much more precise feeling over um, you know, how you're controlling the Dremel tool, uh, you know, versus as without it. So I do like this. And depending on what you're using your Dremel tool for, this attachment could come in really handy in just being able to, um, you know, do that detailed work and, and be very precise. So it's definitely a nice attachment. Um, depending on, you know, the type of work that you're using your Dremel tool, this could come in really handy. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.